Hello, Lemoyne de Gastini here from the Barony of Ravensfort in the Kingdom of Anstiora. Today's video will probably be in two or three parts depending on editing and video length. Um, we will be covering the carbonization of material to be ground into black paint or pigment. Canini tells us in on page 23 and 22 of the Craftsman's Handbook that almond shells or peach stones make for the black best black pigment. I have adapted that to use other materials. I have used everything from chicken bones to bamboo to pecan shells with varying results. Today what we will be experimenting with is the neck bone from a deer. This is a neck bone that I had left over after making a stew from the neck of a deer. Um, I've taken and I've already cut the vertebrae into small enough chunks to go into a pipe. The reason why I use a pipe is Canini also tells us that you would take your material that you're going to carbonize and seal it into a clay casserole then place it in the coals of a baker's oven overnight. You would retrieve your casserole out, you would break it, and you would have your carbonized elements. Unfortunately, the clay found in the ground in Ravensfort contains a large amount of iron which presents two problems. The first of which it does not make or hold a really good seal. It dries out and cracks open exposing your material to air. Secondly, the amount of iron in the clay will adulterate your pigment and you will not get a very good color. So the, I have found that a pipe such as this this is a galvanized pipe. Works really well. It seals really good. It holds a quite a bit of material to make into carbonization. When using a pipe like this, they're galvanized. And what you have to do when you first get it is take it and burn it in fire and burn off all your galvanization. Because if you don't, you'll get silver adulterated pigment which looks really pretty until you grind it then everything turns gray um because of the well the perceived shape and look of this if you go to home depot or whatever and you buy the supplies which is going to cost you between about 10 or 15 dollars you will get odd looks trust me i know um what I'm going to do now is I'm going to take the bone and I'm going to place it in the pipe. What you have to do is you can't overpack your pipe because if you get too much material in there and not enough airspace, you will get portions of your material that will not carbonize. Um, I have a, I'm going to be using two pipes. I've already preloaded this pipe here, but I'm just showing the process of loading your pipe. It's relatively simple. You just put it in there and you put your cap on maybe and you screw it down. Another tool you're going to need once you remove your pipes from the fire after they've cooked is this, a pipe wrench. You can pick these up for about $15 to $20 also at Home Depot or any other hardware store of your choice. Um, I have found through experimentation that the shortest amount of time that you want to cook your pipes in a fire is about four hours. Though the longer you keep it in the fire, in the heat, the better color you get and it tends to break down the uh, material and makes it vastly easier to grind both in your mortar and pestle and on your molar and slab. We will re restart the next video once we get out to where we're going to place the pipes in the fire. Good morning to Gastini here again um, out at my property. 
um, getting ready to put the pipes into the fire. Um, Canini tells us in the Craftsman's Hat Book that you would use the coals of a baker after he closes and let the clay casserole cook all night. The reason for this, my assumption, is that the baker at no point wants his bread smelling like clay. You don't sell a lot of bread that way. Um, so what we have here is we got a burn barrel and I've got a pretty good fire going. I've got a fairly healthy coal bed. What I'm going to do is introduce the pipes into the fire and place them in on the coal bed. Then I'm going to cover with more wood. This will help prolong the fire and give me a good probably 8 to 12 hours cooking time on my bone. Um, so here we go. Pipe number one and pipe number two. Now let me go over here and place the wood in, covering the pipes. Okay, the, um, due to the length of the cook time and the fact that it's late in the afternoon and it's cold, um, I will come and retrieve the pipes tomorrow, then we will open the pipes and look at our carbonized bone, making for the third part of this video series. Um, like I said, it should cook. It, the fire should give it a good 8 to 12 hours cook time, which should give me some fairly brittle, some beautiful black color out of the bone. Until tomorrow, enjoy.